Yes, thank you. Well, we know spring is here, and by now that grass is getting pretty long. If you haven't already started landscaping, now might be a good time to start. Joining us now is an expert in lawn care, Dan Weinkar. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Well, thank you for having me. I know it's great. We've we've had your commercial jingle in our head all morning <laughs> long. All right, so you know you brought all this lawn equipment. First of all, just tell us, you know, what do we need to do to actually get our equipment ready? Not necessarily just pulling it out of the garage or whatever and getting to work, right? Yeah, so there's a few basic maintenance things that you can absolutely do at home. Um, one of the first things we always talk about is getting a sharp blade. Mm -hmm. So on your lawnmower, um, the blade is what does all the work. So if you're having, um, if you really want a, a nice healthy lawn, it's really important to have a sharp blade. Um, and so this is a blade that you can kind of tell is nicked up and dulled. Actually, it's unsafe because the, the, the back part has been um, chewed off. So either getting a new blade or having that sharpened is something that we recommend certainly to start the season and probably once during the season as well. Okay. And then um, all of these engines are what we call air-cooled engines. So they have, to, they have to get air into the engine to cool them off. And so that goes through an air filter. And so this is a filter that's obviously kind of dirty. And, mm -hmm. and even if it doesn't look quite like this, but it's, there's dirt in those grooves, that's something to replace, a nice easy repair, very inexpensive. Um, you can just pop in a new air filter. Is that typically pretty much at the start of every season? You yeah, think? we recommend that every year. Um, yeah, so, and then, and then the other thing is a spark plug. So we would say sharpen the blade, change the oil, um, just like you would in your car. Um, replace the air filter and replace the spark plug once a year. Okay. Is that, and so this is a spark plug that you can tell is kind of fouled out. It'll make it harder to start. Um, so putting a new plug in for a couple of bucks is gonna you know, save you keeping on pulling, pulling, pulling on something to, you know, to, to get it going. So. Okay, now tell us a little bit more about what you brought here and, and really kind of what we need to do to, to choose the right equipment. So, you know, there's a variety of things that you can use to, to help you with the yard work. You know, we, we always say we've got all kinds of stuff that will um, make your job easier. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a matter of, you know, what's important to you. So um, we'll start, you know, like a line trimmer is really important if you want, if you've got a fence or you've got uh, trimming around the, the house or a pool, um, really nice so that you, you can only get so close with your lawnmower, mm -hmm. you can get right up against it, yeah. um, against trees and everything. And so that's a trimmer. Uh, chainsaw, if you've got, you know, any wind damage that happened over the winter, anything that, um, you know, knocked over some branches or anything, that can make it a lot easier than getting the saw out and doing those and that work. And then a leaf blower is another one that, you know, just to blow off the walks, to get those glass, grass clippings off of the walks. Um, and if you've got some residual leaves that didn't get picked up in the fall, it's nice to be able to kind of blow those into a pile and, and then get rid of those as well. So. And what if you do have, you have some equipment that's just, that's just not starting, what, what do you need to do? Yeah. So, I would say, first of all, do all those maintenance things that we mm -hmm. talked about. Uh, air filter and spark plug fixes a lot of problems. Okay. But um, unfortunately, a lot of us forget that we left fuel in it over the winter, mm -hmm. and gas just doesn't last that long. And so um, sometimes you'll end up with um, what we'd call, you know, kind of stale fuel. And then it, you got to get it out of there, and sometimes that's when it might kind of need to come in for repairs because if there's some fuel that's in the carburetor, um, that's usually a repair that people don't want to do themselves. That can be a little bit more uh, more advanced. But um, so that's that's another you know concern, and so that's one of the things we always try to say kind of in the fall is make sure let's run all the equipment out of fuel, put some fuel. There's a product called Fuel Stabilizer okay. to make it so that you don't have problems in the spring when it comes to start them up. Thank you so much, Dan Weingarth. Thanks so much for coming in. And we'll have more information on our website, WXYC.com. Just check the scene on 7 Section. We'll be right back.